walking off, this, off to the sideline. I see him. I want him out there. Murray to throw. Has time, then the pocket breaks down, and Murray is sacked. Did a great job to hang on to the ball. He lost his helmet because of the hit by Jake Beckett, but did not fumble it. Yeah, the, the routes were all 20 yards down the field. There wasn't one short route. That's my whole point. You're going to take a look. There's nobody within the five-yard area to throw the football. Then you have Beckett coming in like a man on a mission. You have a back blocking on a defensive end, throwing a cross body block. Wow, what a shot he took. He just, he's a young kid. He just, he doesn't have that clock in his head. He needs to get rid of the football. I mean, you're yeah. right, Chris. Everything was deep. You'd think something yeah, would be short. Gotta, I was going to say, you got to give him at least an option to check it down. We saw that a bunch today. There's got to be some type of check down receiver. Third and four, that's, you know, and again, I know they know that what they're doing and their guys, and they know their matchups. I do know this. I want to give my young quarterback the easiest throw possible and the best yeah. possible play, pass play that I have that's guaranteed me four yards. you got to have a go-to. That's got to be their go-to play on that. Guys, keep in mind, Joe Adams for Arkansas had a punt return for a touchdown earlier in the game called back because of a penalty we'll see if Georgia kicks it to him here and tries this, to keep it away from this, him this was the best kicker best punter in the nation last year and probably the best one this year now he's got to focus on his hang time here to keep him from returning it don't worry about the distance get the hang your leg is strong enough to get plenty of distance get the hang Arkansas setting up the return bad kick and it takes an Arkansas hop out of bounds around the 28-yard line. 47 seconds Man. left. Arkansas has two timeouts and one of the best quarterbacks in the country in Ryan Mallett. They got a lot to work with. They have a lot to work with. 47 seconds. Two timeouts. Clock stop on first downs. That's a lot of time. It'd make me nervous if I was the defensive coordinator, Todd Grantham of Georgia. Mallett just 5 of 13 in the second half. After only four incompletions in the first half. Mallet finds Williams over the middle. Williams pushing the pile to the 45. Now the clock will stop with 38 seconds left to reset the chains in the football. Arkansas still has two timeouts left. The other thing, if I'm Williams, what I do is I get down. If I got two guys hanging on me, get down. Not because of lack of effort, but to stop that clock sooner. They've got a true freshman kicker, keep in mind, Zach Hawker. He made one earlier in the game. Mallet throws short again to Williams and stayed in bounds. And the clock will stop to move the chains, but it will start again once they reset it. Ball is at the 40-yard line. We saw Hawker make a 48-yarder earlier in the game, so you would think if they get it around the 30, that's 10 more yards, they'd be in a position where he could make it. Like Chris said, the wind is blowing a little bit right to left. Mallet has a wide open man. It's Childs. He's loose. He scores. Childs, please. Touchdown. Arkansas leads. They finally found him. He was quiet for the entire second half. And sorry I stole your line, Chris. I know you're waiting for that all game. <laughs> it's all you. Sanders Cummings. He's going to sit in the film room. They're going to tell him you got to be patient. Hawker on for the point after. Seven point Arkansas lead with 14 seconds left. Watch number 19, Sanders Cummings at the top of your screen playing corner. What he's going to do is he's going to jump number 45, DJ Williams, and you got to play deep to short. He's playing cover two. You see him jump DJ Williams, which led that space open enough for the safety not to get over. And you give Childs room to work like that and run after catch, going to make you pay. And what's and, and so Cummings has got to be patient. You play deep to short, not short to deep. And, and Mallet having the strong arm that he does have, threw it right in between on a line on a dart. Childs caught the ball, made a little move around the deep, uh, deep defensive back, and it was in. 
Third touchdown pass of the day, ninth of the season for Mallett, third touchdown catch on the year for Childs. What a comeback by Mark Rick's Bulldogs to tie the game. Looked like, at best, Arkansas would maybe get a long field goal out of that drive, but then Childs able to get loose into the secondary and take it in. And Grease talked about it earlier. We ain't said, going into that drive, Ryan Mallett has a chance to make a statement to the country. Am I the best? Am I a Heisman Trophy candidate? Well, you take a team down like that, you go 21 for 33 for 380 and three touchdowns, you arrived, young man. That was a two-minute drive. They didn't even use the two uh, timeouts that they have on the board. Brandon Boykin is a dangerous return man. Two kickoffs for touchdowns a year ago. And he'll get a shot here from the five. Boykin across the 25. He's still loose. Clock down to six seconds and to five, so Georgia will get one play. One heave-ho to the end zone by Aaron Murray if he can get it that far. He can throw it 70 yards, at least 70 yards in the air if he can get it that far. Arkansas will set up for this as if it were a punt by sending three guys deep. It's almost you get the proverbial rock off your back. You know what I mean? Winning on the road. Remember we saw East Carolina Tulsa earlier this year a Hale Murray work in a game. Clocks at zero. Last play of the game. Wow. Murray gets it into the end zone. It is broken up and then dropped. Wow. Marlon Brown had a chance at it on the redirection. Aaron White was down there as well, but it's incomplete, and Arkansas wins. He threw it 65 in the air, Grease. Yeah, I was just adding that up, too. <laughs> wow, what a game. What a finish here in Athens. Georgia comes back from 14 down, then Arkansas takes the lead, and Georgia almost ties it on the Hail Mary. It was redirected to Marlon Brown. Tremaine Thomas hit it first for Arkansas. And oh. Brown just could not get to it.